Good morning. So to gain proper access to this room so we can start getting machinery in to clear it out, Nick's going to create a real gradual ramp going in and hopefully that saves having to do it all by hand. Looks like it's going to be tight, doesn't it? I'll get it in there. You reckon? Yeah. See, it will go in now if you're going straight, but it'll go in. Insane, isn't it? Yeah. So colourful as well. Like that. This is what I'm chatting for. If you can be on the shovel, because all these bits, because there's a threshold between the printer and here. Mm -hmm. And if I'm trying to come in, I'm mm. trying not to put the bucket in too hard onto the tiles. Yes. Yeah. But if you can keep this area clear and see if you can get the door frame out.
is now done. What an achievement. And that's what's cool about this room, like finding all the bits, having the photos of how it was, then finding the bits in the rubble. And I don't know, this room just feels different to the rest, you know? It feels like a proper room. Okay, so now I know that this works pretty well and securely. It's a case of using this template to cut every other beam so that it slots nicely into the eye beam Now it's not going to weaken it because I'm taking such a little amount off, but all I've got to work out is how I can cut this over and over and over easily. That's all that ledge filled back in now. Brush this bit off. Just got to wait for this to dry and brush it off so it looks nice and neat.
Okay. Scaffolding saves the floor. Just as I planned. Do you want to back out?
already looking better. If you look close, there's all these wood shims and they've been left in since the construction. See some there, one sticking out there, here. So what that's from is when they put these big blocks in place, just to get them leveled and sit in the right way before they mortared them in, they'd have hammered these wedges in to get it all sitting nicely and then they then mortared them in and obviously they left them in in the construction but it's just cool to see all the little builder techniques that have well I'm surprised the wedges have survived probably because they're in lime it's just cool to see how it was done and the little techniques you know Well, wow. You know what? I think that actually could work. It did get it back pretty level. I guess the thing is that I need to have rebuilt nearly to the lintel, then jack it up, rebuild under it, leave it to set overnight. Okay. That's all of a sudden less of a job. Oh. 
Well, just heard a bit of a bang. Ah. Uh. Oh no. Bloody hell.
I'm telling you now, you would not believe if I told you how level the top of this is. Obviously there's some dips in the stone that need to be filled, but every stone, and I'm not joking, is millimeter level which is amazing to say all the damage that's happened underneath it and it hasn't moved. It's reassuring as well. Well, this is kind of like the scary bit. This is when it's almost absolutely vertical, but not quite. So if I push it too much, it's gonna puff, tip over the wall. And if I don't push it enough, well, you get the picture. So now's the time, screw the braces on, get them ready and just take it really slow. These last couple of steps. Quite messy. Yeah. Oh, this, this guy is going to up and around. Hang on. I'm going to have to do uh... a weird, surreal thing, you two dressing me. <laughs> that comes back up. In it there. Get you all nice and pretty for prom. This will be doing right. a bit of taking render off. We're already sitting from here. Yeah, like I said, just lower yourself backwards and you've got work between your two ropes so you can get your feet onto the wall. <laughs> right. You alright? Let me get used to... Just how much? Yeah. What, I lean right back? Yeah, just sitting down, it's just trust it. 
feel weird not having anything to hold. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's feeding nicely, that's better. It's just like learning to walk all over again, just up and down instead of backwards and forwards. <laughs> 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 That's enough! <laughs> This fits first time. I will be gobsmacked. Judge it. Uh, if you get through this one, you're not going to get caught round it. God, this is going to look professional after. Anyway, around there, Dan.
nigga. Half one. Well, hopefully today is the day we're finishing this roof. It's obviously rained every day since we attempted to finish it. So it's the first day without rain. Let's get it done. So it's super awkward getting all these angles and we are maybe spending a bit more time than we need to, but I think it's worth doing right and getting the angles as sharp as we can. And hopefully that'll, you know, go on to the finished roof as well. So it's all cut, all the boards are in place. We're gonna have a quick break and then we're gonna get the membrane on. That could be tricky. Right, 
I can't believe this is finally waterproof. It was a big push at the end and we're racing against the sun setting, but in theory, this is waterproof now, which is a big day for the chateau. It's the first time it's had any sort of roof on it in like 40 odd years, you know? It's been a long 300 days and so many steps in between that just to get to this stage but finally, finally done it.